All good things must come to an end, but the end of summer vacation isn't all bad. Tonight, we're on your side with a back-to-school strategy for the entire family. And good evening. It is back-to-school time all over the tri-state. Parents probably pretty happy with that. Students maybe not so much. And so much has changed, uh, not only since the end of last year, but over the years for students, parents, and teachers. I don't know about you. It's been a while since I've been in a classroom, but even after all these years hearing that term, back-to-school, well, let's just face it, it kind of brings some anxiety and some excitement even after all these years. But uh, we are on your side tonight, coming to you live from the very beautiful School for Creative and Performing Arts, devoting the entire newscast to things you need to know to meet those back-to-school challenges head-on. And we have a lot to get to tonight, but we're going to start with a very important issue. There are three big issues that, of course, you and your kids are going to want to hear about. Changes, trends, and how to save money. But again, to maybe a controversial issue, one that's been in the headlines lately, our live team coverage begins with Nine News reporter Tom McKee with the latest on that controversial issue of teacher merit pay. Rana Edwards is hard at work prepping her Roberts Academy classroom for 25 eager first graders. I am excited. We got a lot of um, good things um, going on. There's a new reading program, a new teaching team, and a new evaluation system that could mean extra bucks for the district's 2,400 teachers. It'll be an adjustment for all of us, but I think, you know, once we all understand, then it'll be, you know, it'll be fine. This is not part of your base salary, this is a stipend. Only nine news was there as Cincinnati Public Schools began training the trainers this week. I don't want to wait four years down the road when you actually have to have something in place. We've got it in place now so that I think we can learn from this. Annual evaluations were reworked and a performance review evaluation, or PRE, was added. It's not designed to weed out and fire people. It's designed to help and collaborate together for, for professional growth to then improve the academics of our students. Half the review will be based on multiple student growth measurements, the rest on observations. There's fear, um, but I also feel like there's excitement because teachers now will be able to be recognized for the growth that their students are obtaining and not just one standardized test score. Stipends could add $8,000 a year to a teacher's base pay over a four-year period. It's a way to help us look at ourselves introspectively and look at what we're doing that affects student achievement and student growth. So it's a way for us to improve ourselves as educators. Butler County's New Miami schools are also launching merit pay ranging from $300 to $2,500. But Superintendent Dave Gibson says that stipend is solely based on test scores. It really is a nice timing opportunity for our staff to, through their efforts, gain a, you know, gain a little bit of additional dollars during uh, a time where, where salaries are being frozen. And that was Tom McKee reporting. And because Reading schools are getting raced to the top funding, the district is also launching performance-based pay this year as well. Madeira is among the numerous districts which will be studying that issue during this school year. Kentucky doesn't have any such system yet, and neither does Indiana. But you know, all these changes.